Hey YouTube, this is Capcom with here bringing you another video. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see, we're going to play some Battlefield 1. Now, I was going to play this on PC. I've actually been playing this a lot on PC, and this is the first time I've actually downloaded it on PS4. But the reason why I decided to do it this way is because on PC, I could not run the Elgato and the game at the same time. It just would not do it at all. It just seemed to be really laggy, like the frames were dropping quite a lot in the game. I did tweak it a little bit, but it kind of made it look a little bit worse than what it should look like. And I wanted to show you the beauty of this game without any issues of obviously looking and thinking, oh my god, what's this? So I thought I'd, I'd try it on here instead and bring you gameplay on here. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to look at the video again. So let me reset that. But okay. Right, and let's jump into some conquests. So we're going to go match, make, and conquests. Just double check my little boy's not awake. No, he's not awake. Just got him to sleep, so I'm hoping he to stay asleep. But this game is really, really cool. I've really enjoyed playing it on the PC. It was pretty, pretty intense, to be honest. It's pretty hard to play on the PC because obviously I was using controller, uh, the Xbox One controller to be exact. And on, on there, basically they are pretty good with the aim on there. So you do have to be pretty skillful on PC. Obviously this is going to be a little bit easier for me because I'm going to have as much skill as what they have now because obviously you can take into account that we're using a controller and controllers are just not accurate. They were nowhere near as accurate as what it would be if you were using a mouse and keyboard because mouses are pinpoint accurate. You have lost the connection to the session, okay. What we need to do then is just have a quick look at my settings on my NetDuma because it could be that that's causing it to drop out. So just bear me a second on that, guys. I'll set load it in, thank you. Okay, so that's set up okay. Just see where are the servers. It's not showing any issue, but what we'll do, we'll extend it just a little bit. About there, that should hopefully be enough. I don't want to do it too much. Let's try again. But this is an amazing game. I really enjoy playing Battlefield 1 on a PC. The graphics are absolutely astounding. Even on a medium setting, they were absolutely insanely amazing. So on the PS4, I got to see a little bit of it earlier, just as I downloaded it, and it looked pretty cool. It did look pretty cool. Okay, I'm not too sure why it keeps on dropping out. It wasn't doing that earlier. Mm. Make sure all the settings are right on here. Performance graph, controls, they're okay. Right, let's try that again. See what we get this time. Obviously, we've been a beta, it's going to be buggy, it's going to be laggy, you're going to have obviously problems when you do it. So it's just trying to stick with it and obviously keep on pushing. And eventually, you will get there. Could be the net doomer. Maybe I might have to uh, reset my NetDuma and just allow it to be a little bit more open-minded to it and not as strict. Okay, all we'll do then, we'll go back to NetDuma one more time and I'm going to take off the strict off it and that should then allow us to obviously join games that are not catered for the NetDuma that I've got it currently set as at the moment, but doesn't really matter as long as we can get out. So if you take on strict mode, because strict mode will only allow what I've actually set it for. If I take that off, it will allow anything 
on there so it will allow to join other people because we're being the beta obviously all the services are not going to be up and running let's see, see how that works now sorry about this guys it did work before it was fine and now it's decided no i want to be awkward okay so that's worked okay it's getting to this point so it's actually letting me in it's just when it's actually getting onto the game itself, it's kicking me out. So that, again, that could be the net doomer that's doing that due to the the beta. Obviously, all the servers that they will have open when the full release is out is not going to be there. Okay, what we're going to do then one more time. We're just going to up the um the area in which and the milliseconds and just see how that works out. So let's just go down here. Yep, come on, go down. That's it. Thank you. Because you can see these are the locked areas. These will be other areas. And it's not actually showing any of the locks. So I'm just wondering where the servers actually are. It's very tempting just to do this and just basically make it as wide as I can just to get into a game to see how we get on from there. There we go. And put the ping up to about 60. That should be alright. Just to get into a game. Let's see what we get this time. Come on game, let me in. It has been working fine earlier. I did do the similar sort of thing earlier though because it was not even going onto the EA server when I first did it. But like I said, it's a beta. So not all the servers are going to be running. It's just the case of let's do what we can with what we've got. So it's thinking a little bit longer. There we go. So that's what it was. It's just basically because the servers, it wasn't picking up a server or anything. And it was obviously blocking that. So we'll skip this. And this is what you get. This is the map. All the areas that are in blue are my areas. You can pick vehicles, as you can see, by going on. There's the planes. There's no other animals or tanks or anything at the moment. Uh, you can go down here to the bottom. At the bottom of the screen, as you can see, right at the bottom. And you can pick between your weapons. And then there's Assault, there's Medic, there's Support, and there's Scout. Scout are the Snipers, Support have like a machine gun, Medic obviously have like a rifle, but they also can heal. And then you've got Assault, which is just basically normal grunts. You go out there, you can customize your weapon by pressing triangle. You can go into them and you can choose which one you want. Now this is a pretty good starting weapon. It's hip fire. It's really, really good. As you can see for this, the hip fire isn't really good at all on that one and neither on that one as well. That's probably the worst one. That's one you're going to have to be like in their face in order to get killed. And if you look at the bottom right hand corner, you can see where the damage drop and where the bullet drop is. Because it's a simulator, it's not an arcade style like Black Ops, it's more realistic. So there is gravity in this game, so you have to watch out for that. I'm going to stick with the normal gun that we've got at the beginning and let's jump into the action. So here we go. So this is the assault guy. We have taken what you can do, you can aim at you can aim at stuff. Whoops. Pressing the wrong button here. And you can actually press R1. And you can mark. As you can see, I've just marked the enemy bomber out for my team. This will tell them obviously there's an enemy bomber nearby. Just mark him out again. And you basically do this. Now normally when you spawn you do get vehicles. So keep an eye out on your map in a corner as it will show you if there's a vehicle nearby but unfortunately there isn't for me so I'm just gonna run and try and get to an objective I probably should have picked maybe one of the other objectives if you don't want to start from the base you can actually go onto any of the blue areas that we've captured that are in blue and you can actually select them so you can be closer to the action and not as far away as what I've picked which is my fault that's completely my fault I can hear 
snipers. But uh, no, no. Now to walk is normal. If you double tap forward, you'll start to run. And if you hold in R3, you do this. That blood curdling, I'm going to stab you. And you can stab into enemies and take them out in one kill. That's a friendly into yeah. It's okay then, I'll let him off. Any vehicles? No? Right, let's run over here. Now you got to be careful, because like I said, this is a simulator and there are lots of people playing all at once. As you can see here, how many people are on. There is a lot. And the snipers that can take you out from miles away, so you do have to watch out for them. And make sure that where you can, obviously, watch out for them. I'm just going to charge again. Oh, actually, there's a horse here. As you can see, there's a horse here. There's a horse guy there, look. That's pretty cool. Someone got to the horse before me, though. And finally, civilization. Wow, what was happening over there? The blood curling scream. Let's go up to this building, just double check this building out. Nobody in here? No. Okay, so they've got Objective C, so I'm going to try and make my way up to Objective C without being seen. Now, there's people shouting. That potentially could be the enemy. We have lost Objective Duff. So I just need to be careful here. Okay, guys, just dropped in, as you can see, from the air. Let me just... Let's... Let me just. We have taken objective Duff. Let me just do a little peek here. So is it to peek? L2. Okay. So you can peek around corners. You can see. So you're not exposing your full body. You have to get it just right. There's an enemy there. Is he beyond? I don't think he's in here. Let's check out these buildings first. Oh, that's a teammate. I um, got a bit scared then. That's a teammate, isn't it? Yeah. Always be aware if you hear anything, make sure you look. Because it could be an enemy. There's tons of gunfire going on here. Can't see anybody. Now, I don't want to stick in that window too long because the snipers will take you out instantly. And the guy just ran straight in, and now he's dead. Oh, I've just heard someone. We have lost objective Freddy. Just being very careful now, just listening out. Thank you, buddy. As you can see, you can distribute supplies to each other through medics and that, which is really we cool. We have lost objective George. Right, so we've got to be careful because we have got enemies around the back of us as well. Just listening out for any sound. Just going to come back in here a moment. Now this is the kind of game you just can't run around. It's not Call of Duty, so don't just go charge and run into the enemy because you will die. You will die a lot doing that. So you have to be very strategic about what you're doing. There we go, there's an enemy there. See you later, buddy. There's one there. Okay, so we've captured the flag now. That guy's still alive. Now this gun's really, really good for hip fire. I'll just try and demonstrate that to you now. Let's just go get this other guy here. Oh, he's dead already. Doesn't matter. As you can see, these machineries now. That one you can't use. But such as this, you can get in and you can drive, which is really cool. This is the thing I love about Battlefield. Is the fact you can get in, you can either be a gunner or you can drive as well. And then just drive from one objective to the objective. next objective. What I'm going to do is try and go for Duff, because that's the train one. Is 
anyone going to join me? Let me see if these guys want to join me. Anybody join me? We have lost objective Edward. Anyone? Taken objective Freddy. Anyone going to join me? Anybody? No? Nope. Okay, we'll just leave them. Right, so we've got... Oh, sniper up there. Did you see that flash of light up there? The flash of light up there, that is a sniper. That's how you can tell where snipers are. Whoa, 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 I'm getting shot, I'm getting shot, I'm getting shot. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Where's this guy? Where's he going? He's here, he's just here, look. Whoa, what? With the weird pull. That's weird. Weird. He keeps pulling me. Where's this guy go? What the hell? Where did he go? We have taken objective Duff. I'm not sure where this guy's just gone. He's just vanished. It was here? Has he gone upstairs? No. I'm not sure what the weird aim pull was when I was at the window. That was pretty weird. Just double checking. I don't know where this guy's gone. We have taken objective Edward. He just vanished. That was weird. That was really weird. Unless he left the game, I'm not sure. But that was weird. Right, I'm just gonna go for Bravo, I think. Another thing as well is always stay with team. This is a team-based game, not a single-player game. You can't be a lone wolf all the time. It is a team-based game, so try to be very careful and aware of that. Let's try and get this guy's horse. I want his horse. Where's he going? Just gonna be careful. I don't want to be sniped. Where's this guy go? Right, we want to try and get one of these objectives if we can. Just check out Bravo. That looks like a vehicle. Enemy oh no, it's a horse. Okay, it's a horse. Eyes and we've got enemies stopping. over here. As you can see, man marking is very good. You because see, you can't actually through. see, there's no markers above the head to say that they're enemies. Unless you mark them, that you'd never know. Let me get down in a moment. Just get quick reloading. Mark him up again. There we go, we're hitting the enemy. There is a sniper as well there. I think he's dead. And there's a sniper up there as well. We have taken objective dark. Be careful, did you see the light there? That's him trying to snipe me. So we've got to be very careful. Just get this guy. And I'm not going to survive the other one. Unfortunately, I couldn't survive the other kill on there. You can now request to be revived. Or you can skip the revive. Now, it depends on how close there is a nearby medic. But sometimes they're not always close. So, it's just one of those things that you mind. But now, as you can see, I can choose where I want to be. So, instead of being over here, really far away. I can actually choose to be very close. Or even jump into a vehicle if there's one available. Like this one. And now someone's just Halfway there. We have the got the armor train. Let me just get out a minute. I want to get this guy. There we go. See you later, buddy. Jesus Christ, why did he fly? I think he's Superman. Or well, he believed it was Superman. Whoa. Let me just heal a moment. Throw a grenade out. Uh oh, I tried to help you, buddy. Couldn't do no. Sorry. We control all objectives. Is this guy dead? I really want to get his med pack. Give me, give me that. There we go. Now I'm a medic. And as a medic, you can do other things like you can throw out med packs like this. You can get out 
a gas mask if they throw gas and you can also get out a syringe as you can see here and they can heal people as well which is cool and you have two types of weapon you've got this and you can swap to a pistol if you wish as well which is really cool we have lost objective apples. and as you can see the enemies have got the train so I need to have more of an assault style character to beat them so there's no point in me trying to take them on as a medic because I'll just die to it I'll use one of these anti-tank over here as well to destroy it so I'm gonna go over here and help try get objective C we have taken objective Charlie oh okay we've already got it Whoa, we I can see a sniper. Let me see if we can help this dude out. Okay, so just mark up that plane. Always mark up people. If you see anybody, absolutely anything, mark them up. It really will help your team out. Oh, I'm trying to mark him. There we go. There's a tank over there, boys. We have lost objective George. Just trying to find one of the anti-tank, so I can help take out the armored train. Oh, press wrong button now. We have taken objective Duff. Whoa plane trying to shoot me down there as you can see so I'll throw myself out of med pack and I can heal myself there we go on oh, GB's in the game as well hello GB I don't know if GB can hear me I won't be able to will he I've got one of my teammates uh, from Call of Duty playing on the game with me I do apologize, GB. I am. I know you're there. It's just unfortunate that I don't have mic in. <laughs> just let him know. I know. I know he's there. Right. I'm gonna go for objective F if we can. Spotted a soldier. So we need to take out this train. Let me see if we can get up here. Might be able to take out the train. Oh, I can't. So I'm just going to run around this way. Who can get up these? Can they get upstairs? Oh, they destroyed the stairs. No, no, I can't. Can't really get up there. Watch out for the train. Oh, here's the stairs. Here we go. Oh. No, no, stop doing that. I keep pressing the wrong button. I wish I'd stop pressing that button. We have taken objective, George. No, that's no good being up there, I don't think. So, we're gonna go for Bravo. Just take this guy out. See you there, buddy. We have lost objective, Edward. Enemy tank over there! I'm gonna get out of the way of that tank. I'm not equipped to take on a tank. We've got an enemy in here. Don't know where that enemy went. Oh, I tried to get away. Request to revive if can. Just listen up for the bug. No, there's no way. And there we go guys. We got victory.
So there you go guys, that is Battlefield 1. I just thought I'd show you this guys. Again, sorry to GB who probably can't hear me, who is in my game. But it's a really, really cool game. I've really enjoyed playing this. If you want to see more Battlefield 1, please put in the comments below if you want to see more. I just thought I'd show you an introduction into the game because I do want to do this more because I'm really enjoying it. I do actually find that the console is easier. Uh, I've played a lot of PC and PC is well hard. It is pretty hard, even for killing people and stuff. So, uh, so definitely, definitely, it's a great game. But if you are into console, then I would definitely say play it on console because it is a lot easier in my eyes to play it on there. Well, hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It does help the channel to grow. And this is your boy Kepper signing out, guys. And as always, I salute you. See you next time.